Front page of yesterday's Daily Mail. We're going to kick your fucking heads in. <laughs> from a clockwork orange. The Daily Mail. The biggest shit ever. Ever. Front page of the Daily Mail. I rearrange the letters. All Tories are liars. Listen to this. Have I got a story to tell you this morning? Nick Lynch railway workers versus Boris Johnson's billionaire railway barons. The cost of living crisis and inflation isn't because of high wages, because wages haven't risen for three years. It's because of pilfering profits. It's because of paying out dividends. And then you find out that taxpayers paid four billion to these railway companies and they took one billion and put it in their own pocket. We got a cost of it. It's because there's too much profit and not enough pay. Listen yeah, to I'm Mick. The worst way you could do it is insist that the fares go up by RPI, ripping off the commuters, but you won't give the, the workers RPI. The fares go up by RPI every year, the retail price index. That's the government regulations. Last year, profits were made by the train operators. £500 million out of that subsidy you gave went to those companies. First group and go-ahead, who we're negotiating with, are both subject to takeovers from private private equity companies. They're going to be worth billions because they know that you're going to keep siphoning money from the public purse into private sector operators. Well, I just as you're doing in health, what's education actually happened in the care. last... Absolutely unfucking believable Unbelievable. Front page of the Daily Mirror this morning. Boris Johnson, we got to keep pay down. It's not, it's not workers' pay you got to keep down. He was in a billionaire's ball. There's the train leasing companies. Look, I've said... <laughs> we got polio back, for fuck's sake. Back to the 1970s. The Conservatives, look at that. It's a poo. Talks to end rail dispute. Break down. They're out again today. They're fighting for you. They're fighting for every single person in the country against the Tories, against Boris Johnson's railway barons.